As we begin the month of October, you'll certainly see people wearing pink. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and a newly published study is giving a large group of patients some relief despite a diagnosis. Caitlin Lockerbie has today's local health alert. Alethea Bragg has wrapped up radiation after a breast cancer diagnosis over the summer and a lumpectomy to remove the affected tissue. Take a deep breath. Let go. A sigh of relief. She says after learning chemotherapy wasn't on the horizon for treatment. I was glad I didn't want to have to have what, anything I didn't need. Oncologist for Baptist Cancer Center, Dr. Sal Vazzaretti says results from a clinical study indicate there's a large group of women who won't benefit from the rounds. She had hormone positive lymph node negative breast cancer. Genetic testing shows whether a patient is at a low, intermediate, or high risk of recurrence. Women over 50, like Bragg, who fall into the intermediate group, join a large list of patients who Dr. Vazzaretti says don't show any increased benefits from chemo. The disease-free survival was equivalent after eight years uh, in women who had uh, chemotherapy and endocrine therapy or women who had just endocrine therapy alone. Hormone therapy through prescriptions, allowing patients to avoid weeks of trips to the doctor for treatments and the effects that follow. Such as nausea, vomiting, hair loss, mm -hmm. and risk for infections. You know, you lose your hair, and that's one of my best attributes, <laughs> I, I thick curly hair. <laughs> she certainly hasn't lost her sense of humor or her fight to stay healthy on the endocrine treatment she's now receiving. And it's a teeny, teeny, tiny little, <laughs> little tablet. We're going to keep you on it for at least five years. Trial was published in the New England Journal of Medicine in July and impacts women ages 50 and older. Local 24 Cares is the proud sponsor of the annual Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. That's on October 21st at Tiger Lane at the Liberty Bowl. You can learn more on our website right now, localmemphis.com.